I got some questions about Brock Lesnar for you, and I want your opinion because you were polarized on Brock Lesnar. You know, everybody knows he was one of the main reasons you tuned away from wrestling, and then uh, you watched a couple of his matches with me, and now you like him. I think you're still into what's going on right now, so we're going to find out kind of your view and your stance on Brock Lesnar. Uh, Danny, give me a question. I have my bat in my hand ready to knock it out of the, the park here, Danny. All right, right now, in your opinion, so we're, we're getting this storyline. It came out of nowhere fresh off of WrestleMania. Uh, it's it's huge. It hasn't made a dent in the ratings just yet, and actually, like, they went down last week as opposed to the week before. So in your opinion, though, is the WWE rushing the John Cena versus Brock Lesnar match? Absolutely, Danny. This is reminiscent of a certain CM Punk versus Triple H match that I remember thinking wasn't going to be anything. I thought it was going to be a bullshit match that led to a big one later at an event that mattered. And Danny, how sad is it? How sad is the state of pay-per-views when we're waiting for a big one? They all should be big ones. I don't take this match seriously. This is my Mad Money character. I am very political <laughs> and something about money right now. Danny, this is a sham. This is bullshit, and we need to, I don't know, hype it up a little better or something. I had a good argument at first, but I lost it. Are you are you not into it? Like, are you not excited about it? Because I'm excited about the match. I'm very interested in the storyline. But it feels weird to have this so quickly after the Rock at John Cena thing, and then to, go, to, like, use this match on Extreme Rules, like a pay-per-view that's used to kind of blow off feuds. Like, their first feud, or their first match in this feud is going to be... An Extreme Rules match, like, where do you go from there? You can't have just regular matches after that. No, of course I'm excited for it. This is huge, but there's a feeling, and it's the same feeling I had with Punk vs. Triple H, that, well, this is this should be huge, but it's not going to be because it's at Night of Champions, or, in this right, case, right. Extreme Rules. Meanwhile, they're probably going to have their one big match this month, although, honestly, I don't see it happening that way, but I didn't see it happening that way with Punk Triple H. And, I don't know, it just feels like either... They have their one big match now, like ha happened with Punk Triple H, and it doesn't get uh, the excitement that it deserves for me, and then it's just over. Or this is a bullshit match hyping up a feud like I expected to be, and it's still not as big as it should be. Danny, there's no win here. I'm, an, uh, I'm one of these elitist wrestling fans, finally. So, so, so you're going to say... I can't be pleased. It, it, you're happy that it's happening, but you also think it's being rushed. Like, it shouldn't yeah. be happening now. I can't be pleased. And I, I never thought I'd say something like that. When people are saying this about Punk Cena, I was like, oh, come on, SummerSlam, it's going to be the best. I was the only one that seemed like that was kind of, didn't think they were rushing. Like, everyone's like, they're ruining the storyline. That's actually, I'm finally that person about this. 